Greetings and welcome to each, each one of you to spring 2022. Wishing all a blessed, successful and a more glorious 2022. Trust that you all had a blessed time with your family, friends this season. And you're back with refreshed and renewed strength. So this year, the word of the Lord for our church is to go take a mountain, conquer your giants, occupy your inheritance from the book of Joshua, chapter 14, verse 6 to 15. So as we claim this promise, we also speak and release this over each of you as we journey together. Let me share today's plan. Today, um, we'll have a time of faculty sharing about their teaching subjects, and then we'll have a word from a senior pastor followed with a Q&A session, and then we'll take a 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes break, then we'll come back, come back for a time of praise and worship led by Pastor Jakes, uh, Pastor Jaykumar Isaiah, and prayer led by Pastor Nancy Ramya and Pastor Selena McWana. So before we could uh, begin, can we start with a word of prayer, please? Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you for this new season, new year, new semester. We surrender each one of us in your hands, Lord. Father, as we surrender ourselves, Lord, we pray that, that you will move, you will lead, and you will guide us in this new season, oh Father. Lord, we pray that if there's anything that does not belong to you and your plan, your purpose, we pray that you will uproot it out of us. And you will change the things that needs to be changed. You will transform the things that needs to be transformed. And you will put your finger on which the things that needs to be addressed. Lord, we thank you that you are taking each one of us from glory to glory, strength to strength this year. Lord, as we set aside ourselves, Lord, we speak and release your greater wisdom, knowledge, understanding over each and every student, Lord. As the desire, Father, Lord, we pray that you will, you will reveal the, uh, you will reveal a deeper revelation from the Word, and by your Spirit, O oh Father. Lord, as we seek more of you and desire more of you, I pray that you will reveal yourself by the greater manifestation power of your Holy Spirit in us, O oh Father. Lord, we pray that your hand of protection will be over each and every student this semester, Lord. This year, O oh Father, that no sickness, disease, no plague can come near the dwelling place. Thank you for your blood protection over us, O oh Father. Lord, we also lift up our entire back-end team who serves alongside at a Bible college with us, O oh Father. Lord, we pray and we speak your blessing over them, protection, providence over them, Lord, and over their family. Lord, as uh, thank you, Lord, that you have enabled us to fulfill the vision of a Bible college, that you're taking this opportunity to equip each and every one, Lord, across the globe to fulfill the call and purpose that you have placed upon each one of our life, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we surrender ourselves, we thank you for you have, you have poured us with your, uh, with your grace and mercy, which flows exceedingly abundantly over each one of us, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we, as we seek you, O oh Father, as we seek you, Lord, and set this time aside, we pray that you will equip each one of us to be rooted and grounded in your word, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Over to our faculties to introduce yourself and uh, please share the subject that you're teaching. Thank you. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. I think I'll go first. <laughs> uh, good to see you all. Uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Roshan. Uh, I live in Bangalore. I lived in Bangalore all my life. Uh, and I have a wife and a three-year-old. Um, Mano 
is my wife's name and Ethan is my son's name. Um, good to see you all. Uh, I'll be teaching ministering Div divine healing for the first years and uh, youth ministry for final years. I see you guys are all. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Roshin. Yes. Oh, right. I, sorry, I yes. <laughs> forgot to mention. I also serve as associate worship pastor and the youth pastor at ABC. I think. Thank, you. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Roshan. Um, yeah, my name is Jay Kumar, Jay Kumar Isaiah, and um, I serve as the associate um, pastor for one of the one of our Bangalore locations, and also um, as the worship pastor overseeing the worship ministry. Uh, here in uh, APC Bangalore. Um, the subjects that I'm uh, handling this year, I mean this semester, uh, for the first year students, it's uh, uh, financial stewardship, a uh, very interesting topic about money and uh, you know what should the believer's perspective be about money. So I'm sure you'll uh, enjoy this. It can be quite um, transformative as well, you know, our perspective towards money and how God sees money. Um, wealth and so on. So we look at that. For the second year students, uh, we look at Christian leadership, uh, the whole aspect of leadership, um, the way the world defines leadership and the way the Lord Jesus defined leadership and what does the Bible talk about leadership. So um, that's a very practical um, course as well. So that's for the second year students. For the third year students, um, we're going to look at the epistles, um, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippines, Colossians, and Thessalonians. So um, we're going to be looking at this. It's going to be a chapter by chapter, verse by verse, uh, study, just like how we did First and Second Corinthians. So um, that's going to be uh, in interesting, uh, quite revelatory. And also, we will do um, uh, another uh, subject called uh, discipleship and small groups ministry. Um, what does it mean to follow the Lord Jesus? How do I do it in community and in small groups? And how can you know, uh, raising up leaders and so on. So that's also a very practical uh, course. Um, then, um, then what we have is uh, is what is called the independent research paper. So it gives an opportunity for the final year students, final semester students, to um, to research a topic. It could be uh, something uh, you know doctrinal. It could be an issue, social issue, political issue, uh, but something that is um, you know uh, the biblical perspective of it, and also uh, to present a paper. Uh, on on it, so we're going to be uh, and it's going to be facilitating that. Um, this helps stimulate discussions and explore what kind of topics we can look at and so on. So yeah, uh, so that is what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, I'm married. Uh, my wife's name is Arti, and I have a daughter who's in college, uh, who's doing a second year college. Yeah, thank you. God bless. Thank you, Pastor Jakes. Yes. Hi, welcome back, uh, everyone. Uh, it's a great excitement and a joy for uh, all of us to, uh, you know, be back in the spring semester. Uh, it's just a joy to, you know, begin the spring semester just to get all of, uh, get to know all of you and uh, just to have a good time learning from God's word. Um, my name is Selina Makwana, and uh, I've been involved in the teaching ministry, and I develop uh, content for our school outreach ministry, Catalyst, and also for our children's church, uh, writing the curriculum. Uh, so that's what I do at APC. Uh, thank you, everyone, for welcoming me back. <laughs> this is just a joy to uh, be back. Um, so for the first years, I'll be teaching you all uh, doctrinal foundation, systematic theology. Please don't be uh, alarmed with this huge, uh, uh, you know, course name or uh, frightened about it. It's going to be very simple. We're just going to study the doctrines, uh, you know, doctrine about the word of God, uh, God, Trinity, salvation, sin in a much more deeper way, a more systematic way. So you'll have a better understanding, is, which will uh, you know, um, give you an understanding, uh, a deeper understanding in God's word and also help you to answer questions even as you minister and, and also minister uh, effectively in your church, in your Bible study group or wherever you're involved in ministry. Uh, the next uh, course I'll be teaching for the first years is uh, Christology, another theological subject, uh, but a very interesting um, 
a course uh, which we're going to study about Jesus Christ, uh, how humanity and divinity exist in the person of Jesus Christ. We will also be looking at the work of Jesus Christ, uh, basically uh, the work on the cross that he has finished for us. Uh, so two uh, theological subjects, uh, but it's going to be very interesting and uh, will give you a deeper insight. And um, I'm sure you'll, at the end of it, stand in awe and amazement at uh, the person and the work of Jesus Christ and fall in love with our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ in a more deeper and a more uh, in an intimate way. Uh, for the final years, I'll be teaching you all uh, Paul's letter to uh, Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Um, and uh, so these are going to be very interesting um, uh, ep episodes about the first and second Timothy and Titus and a personal letter to Philemon. Uh, basically, the episodes uh, that Paul writes to first and second Timothy and Titus is, uh, you know, will help uh, some of you are pastors and those of you who are involved in church ministry, uh, you know, how to address uh, various situations um, uh, that you face and uh, give you more guidance and insights into uh, church management, uh, church administration and leadership. And also I'll be uh, teaching a subject that is very close to my heart, children's ministry. Um, uh, you know, uh, just get each of you um, uh, involved in what children's ministry is all about. Uh, give you deeper insights into uh, and the basics foundations about children's ministry so that uh, you know uh, some of you would um, uh, hear God's call it's my prayer that you'll hear God's call uh, you know mm -hmm. and uh, sense God's call to uh, go into children's ministry and impact children for uh, God's kingdom so these are the subjects I'll be teaching thank you very much and uh, looking forward to seeing each of you in class thank you thank you Pastor Selena that's wonderful and yeah, next we have Pastor Paul. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, good to see you all. Uh, wishing each one of you a blessed new year, 2022. Uh, the subjects that I will be teaching is for the first years, uh, I'll be teaching the covenants, the cross and uh, the blood. Uh, so this subject, we're going to be talking about the different covenants and the power of the cross, the power of the blood of Jesus. So it's a wonderful topic, uh, uh, power packed with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, insights that we can learn together. And for the second years, uh, we'll be, uh, I'll be teaching on marketplace ministry. So we'll be covering the book, uh, publication, Timeless Principles for the Workplace. So this book is more about how you and I, all of us can be testimonies uh, in the marketplace. Uh, you know, uh, some of us may go into business and, uh, uh, you know, any of the spheres of influence. And so how God has called us and certain principles that we can use uh, to really impact and, uh, you know, live an honorable life, even in the marketplace. So that's a, another uh, interesting subject. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, about me, my name is Paul and uh, Diana and I together, we serve at APC Mangalore. We have two little boys, Ethan and Eric. Uh, they, one is six, one is four. Uh, so uh, it's exciting. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, looking forward to seeing each one of you in class. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, do we have Pastor Nancy Ramya here? I uh, yes. Me. Hi, Dana. Yes, thanks. Yes. Hi. Hi, Dana. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning and welcome back uh, to Bible College. Uh, fresh semester starting. Um, uh, my name is Nancy and uh, uh, I serve as an associate pastor for one of our locations here in Bangalore. And I also uh, serve with the missions. Uh, I'll be taking three subjects uh, this semester. For the first years, um, I'll be teaching on the subject of the believer's authority. Uh, and this is really intended to help us as believers live a victorious life against our enemy Satan so um, you know we will delve deep into that uh, for the second years we will um, I'll be taking the subject on uh, the prophetic and the apostolic uh, ministries uh, so again you know we will we will have a good biblical foundation of what these ministries mean uh, but more importantly learn how to flow uh, and release the prophetic and apostolic from through our lives. Uh, and for the third years, uh, again, interesting, we uh, have five books uh, that, you know, um, I'll, I'll be taking us through verse by verse study of the book of Hebrews, um, where we learn about 
the Lord Jesus as being uh, uh, the superior one, you know, the the great high priest, the the sacrifice, and uh, basically uh, Hebrews encourages us to fix our eyes on the Lord Jesus. So uh, the book of Hebrews, then uh, James, who uh, gives us many practical instructions for life to live uh, the life of a believer like a believer. Now, uh, first and second Peter, where we are encouraged to endure under suffering, uh, to live an honorable life, um, uh, and uh, you know, of course, uh, Peter, as well as uh, Jude. Jude is the other book that uh, we we will be going through, uh, where there is a warning against uh, heresy, false teaching, uh, and things like that. So, yeah, really excited, uh, looking forward to everything that God is going to do uh, in us and through us. So, uh, thank you, uh, and really. Uh, you know, excited about the semester. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Diana. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Nancy. Thank you. And uh, we also have Mrs. Jean George. Uh, due to some circumstances, she's not able to be here, but then she would be teaching on the inner wholeness, which is one of the important subjects. And um, yeah, the semester I would be teaching on the New Testament survey. This course is designed to give us an, uh, you know, an, an uh, overview of all the 27 books from the New Testament uh, with a brief introduction about the author, the date of writing, the book, the purpose of writing, and the book's theme and the key verses and overall uh, understanding of each and every book. We would be studying the outline uh, the view of Christ in each book. And yes, this study will help us also understand about the covenant of grace and the life and the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. So yes, uh, I'm excited to study and journey along with you all together. And yes, let's depend on the Spirit of the Lord to lead us and give us the revelation of each and every book and uh, make it part of us as well as we carry, as we set ourselves to serve and be equipped in his word. Um, uh, yes, I'm married. I'm married to Paul Emanuel. We are blessed with two sons. Uh, and we both uh, serve as pastors at uh, Manglo All People's Church. And I also have taken up on administration responsibility at Bible College. Uh, yes, so with this, we will hand over to our senior pastor, Pastor Ashish. Yes, Pastor. Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back and uh, uh, Happy New Year. Thanks, Diana. Thanks to all the, Thank you, the um, pastors, the faculty. I uh, appreciate what each, each one of you are doing and uh, great to have, uh, great to be back uh, in another semester to spend time uh, and journey together. Uh, very quickly, what I will be teaching uh, this semester, first years, uh, we will be doing a course together on interpreting scripture uh, so we just uh, we will basically talk about you know the importance of the word of god and also how do we interpret or correctly understand scripture uh, so that we can apply it correctly uh, in our lives and also in our preaching and teaching uh, make sure that we communicate um, uh, the word of god uh, correctly uh, so that's an important uh, course we'll be doing together with the first years. Second years, uh, we uh, are doing two new courses. Uh, these courses are being done for the very first time. Uh, one is a course on holiness. Um, uh, now, uh, the, uh, you know, the reason we introduced this course was uh, uh, actually, it, it, this whole thing was sparked. I think it was last year or year before, I forget. Uh, I was in a leaders uh, conference and it was just leaders. And then, you know, in the conference, one of the leaders spoke out and he asked a very basic question. How do I overcome temptation? And then, uh, you know, that's when it struck me that, you know, uh, uh, that even leaders, Christian leaders who have been in ministry, who are leading churches and ministries, uh, uh, sometimes struggle with this whole area of holiness and living holy and understanding, uh, having a revelation of God who is holy and uh, letting his holiness become part of our lives. And so uh, 
that's when I felt that, you know, we need to teach our students as well, because many of them are preparing for ministry. And so we introduced this course. Uh, it's the first time we're going to be teaching this course on holiness. Uh, we talked about the holiness of God so that we get a revelation of God's holiness. And from there, we talk about how that translates into us living holy lives. Uh, the second course, which is a, a, a new course this semester, is uh, Developing the Human Spirit. Uh, we'll talk about basically, you know, to help us understand the human spirit, uh, the, facul the faculties of the human spirit, the functions of the human spirit, and how we can develop the human spirit. Um, you know, just as we develop our mind or our body, um, we must learn to develop our spirit because really God is spirit. And when we engage with God, you know, it's in the realm of the spirit and he works through our spirit out. So um, uh, we felt it's important, especially for those of us who are preparing for ministry uh, to understand this area and, uh, you know, and, and learn how to do that. Uh, another course with the second years is uh, the end times or eschatology. Uh, so we'll be talking about you know, biblical uh, Bible prophecy on the end times, getting an overview of the um, events, the timeline, the prophecies, uh, and the sequence of events, and so on. So that's going to be an interesting study. With the third years, um, I will be doing uh, one is a book study of uh, Revelation and Daniel. So we will actually go through Daniel first, uh, and then into the book of Revelation. It'll be a verse by verse study of these two books. Um, primarily, the the prophecies in this in these books on the end times. So we'll be doing that. And another course we'll be doing is media and technology in ministry. So um, uh, here, of course, the the idea is to just expose all of ourselves uh, to. Uh, you know, how media and technology can be used in ministry. Uh, it's, it's not going to be a very technical course, but it's going to give us an overview of uh, various aspects of the tools that are used in media and the tools that are used in technology for the purpose of ministry. Just to open our minds there so that, you know, we can start using or make use of these things. Yeah, so um, those will be the courses we'll be doing with, uh, with, uh, with the various uh, years and so um like all of us i'm excited to spend time with you uh in in, in, in uh, teaching and learning growing together all right i don't have any big message but <laughs> uh today but just to say uh welcome all of you and uh, we are grateful uh for the opportunity to be able to um spend this time with you over the next four months till april and uh, spend time in the Word of God, spend time praying and growing together. And our heart's desire is really to serve you, uh, to be able to share with you uh, whatever we have learned and uh, we are continuing to learn. It's not that we know everything, uh, but we are continuing to grow, we are continuing to learn and we just want to pass on to you uh, things that we know uh, at this point, so that in your lives, in your areas of ministry, uh, each one of us can be uh, fruitful for the kingdom of God. And so that's our desire, just to uh, help all of us be very fruitful for the kingdom of God. Right. Thanks once again. Uh, back to Diana. To Thank you, Pastor. Over. Thank you so much. And yes, so now it's a q a session so if you all have any questions clarifications please feel free to ask so that we can clarify anything pertaining to our course to our semester to previous semester if there's any questions or clarifications please feel free to uh, you can unmute and ask your questions or you can type in the chat and we will be glad to hear uh, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, ma'am, I, I, I did not go to new subject. Uh, how to add uh, uh, in Google Classroom new, new subject? You didn't receive an email from us with the class codes and the new semester details, is it? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Brother Avadesh, we can check and we will reply to you. I've made a note of your 
I will send an email to your mail ID. I hope everyone have received an email uh, with the new semester class codes. Everyone, okay. If those of you who have not received it, please do let us know. You can post your name on the chat. We can send an email to you with spring 2022 Google class codes. I think uh, Rupa raised her hand. Okay, Rupa, yes. Please go ahead, Rupa. Received, ma'am, just to say that. Thank okay, you. Okay, great, great. Thank you so much. And uh, Zelitoli. Yes, Zelitoli has not received it. I've made a note. Okay, okay. Okay, if you have not received, all you have to do is just drop an email to admin at apcbiblecollege.org and we will be more than happy to send you an email with all the spring 2022 information. I'll just give you the ID bibelcollege.org. Yes, that's our email ID. You can please write to us and we will send across the semester 2022 class codes, respective class codes to you. Uh, yes, Aradna, please go ahead. Ma'am, I I also not received the code. the code. You have not received it? Sure, Adna, I've made a note. I'll get back to you. Yes, thank you. We'll send it across to you. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? Uh, there were a few uh, questions, uh, questions with regards to uh, the assessment. With regards to your assessments, uh, well, um, the assessment due dates are set by the respective faculty in the final semester, I mean, in the last year, last year in the fall semester. We request all the students to please submit your assignments before the due date on or before the due date as as all the given assessments are very important and it, it is an add-on to your total final score. So we request all the students um, to submit your assignments on time. And if in case we miss to submit the assignment, then we may have to repeat the course in the next semester uh, when it's there. So other than that, if there's any other questions, please go ahead so that we can clarify it. Are there are some questions on the chat, starting with yes. Paul. Okay. Um, Yes, are all the subjects compulsory for first year? How do I register for the subjects? Um, yes, Paul, uh, if you are doing a certification course, like a, certificate, a certification course like CTH or Diploma in Theology or Bachelor's in Theology, then you may have to take all the courses in each year. But if you are doing individual course, individual then you can go ahead and uh, uh, choose the selected course in each year either if you're choosing in first year one course second year and third year you can and you will be certified for that individual course but if you would like to uh, study systematically uh, as uh, you know uh, for one year if you're if you're interested to do a certification theology then you may have to do the complete first and second semester uh, according to the way the course is in aligned. Pastor, you would like uh, yeah, to add yeah. up? So, um, yes. so Paul, um, uh, so we have, we offer three, three certificates. One is a one-year certificate called CTH, Certificate in Theology, which is if you complete all the first year courses, you will get a certificate in theology. Um, that is um, 16 courses, the 16 first year courses. And then we offer a diploma in theology, which is if you complete all the first year courses and all the second year courses, that's a total of 32 courses, then you get a diploma in theology. If you com complete all the third year courses as well, then you get your bachelor's in theology. So that's three years, a total of 48 courses. Right, so uh, so what Diana was saying is, um, 
if you want any one of these three degrees, a certificate, a diploma, or a bachelor's, then you have to cover, complete all the courses that lead towards that degree. So, uh, uh, so you know, you, it's good to complete all the first year courses, then do all your second year, and then do all your third year, and then you'll get to your bachelor's. Now, uh, if you just want to do, you know, individual courses, you're free to do that as well. So it depends on what you're working towards. Uh, to register for your subjects, um, uh, as uh, Diana was saying, you can, you know, uh, uh, Paul, I think you're doing everything on online in Google Classroom. So basically, you need to get the Google Class codes and connect to the respective Google Classrooms. And then you submit your assignment, just exactly what you did last semester. You just continue doing it every semester. You know, do the first year um, courses, then do the second year and so on. So uh, that's how we proceed, okay? Uh, so drop Diana an email at uh, admin at apcbiblecollege.org and she'll uh, help you with that. Um, Samuel's question, yes, Samuel, we'll be continuing with the regular uh, mentoring hour, Supernatural hour on Thursdays and Fridays before the classes. Uh, Dave's question, uh, holiness and developing human spirit. Dave, um, uh, you, you're welcome to take these courses either in the e-learning portal or if you want to, you could just connect to the Google classes. Uh, um, I mean, I guess you won't be able to attend them live because you will, you will be doing your third year courses. So uh, Dave, I think the best option for you is to do these courses on the e-learning portal. Uh, so you're welcome to do that as well. And of course you'll get your certificate immediately in the e-learning portal um, uh, because you're in your, in your, in your, you are in your third year, so that's fine. Dan, I want to pick up Kiran's question. Yes, Others? yes. thank you, Pastor. Uh, yeah, Kiran, as Pastor said, you can do the new courses through the e-learning portal as you would be continuing your third year courses. And we also have Abraham Tethi. Please, do we have any portal that we can log in to see all our results from first year? All the uh, scores from your first year have been updated on your Google Classroom. So when you log into your Google Classroom, you can find your scores, individual scores there. And yeah, just to add, um, Abraham, uh, you know, our IT team is setting up a Bible College portal. Uh, they are working on it. So um, yeah, ultimately what we will have is a student portal where uh, students can come in and see their academic work and, uh, you know, download their certificates, all of that. So that is happening, uh, but that's not live yet. So we haven't released it out to our students yet. But uh, for now, what you can do is, uh, like as Diana said, you could go into Google Classroom and look at your scores over there. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. We have a question from Charles. Will the chat section be included in the recording of the classes? Last semester, we missed it in the YouTube recordings. Yes, our chat sections will be included in the recording. And uh, there's another question from oh, Beth. Diana, like, um, uh, they won't see it in the recording. Okay. So what we are going to do is just like what we're doing now, uh, we will read the question and we will answer, but you won't be able to see it in the recordings. Uh, so that's a problem. Yeah, the, the chat is not uh, recorded in the video. Uh, so what uh, all our faculty will be doing is, uh, as we are responding to questions in the chat, we will read out the question just like what Diana did, and we will respond. So it will be audible, but you won't see the recording of the chat interaction in the, uh, in, in the uh, recordings of the classes. Sorry yes, to interrupt yes. you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, you Pastor. Yeah, so we would be uh, reading all the faculty. Whenever we receive a questions, we will be reading out the questions loud so that, you know, we don't miss on the questions we do get. And yeah, uh, we have another question from Beth. I'm doing my second year. Can I do third year course by e-learning simultaneously as next year I ha uh, not have much time? Pastor, is yeah, that the answer the answer yeah. is you're welcome to do that, but uh, no problem. Uh, if you you know you can do uh, uh, the uh, eight courses online, and you can do your third year courses 
on the e-learning portal. It's entirely up to you. Uh, if you have the time to do it, go for it. And uh, so you could actually complete, uh, you know, two semesters in one semester. You're, you're free to do that. Uh, it just, you know, just need that much time. And if you can afford it, go for it. Um, can I just ask, can I do some of the courses, not the whole semester's courses, say um, half of it simultaneously with the second year so that in the third year I'll continue doing but not as many courses. Is that possible? Yes, yes. You can do it. So, uh, you know, if you want to do three courses on, on the e-learning, you can do it. And then next semester, you just finish up the rest. Perfectly fine. Uh, everything is being tracked in the e-learning portal. So we will know, you know, what you've completed there and what you've completed in Google Classroom. Perfect. We have another question from Brother Avadesh regarding the graduation celebration after completing the course. Yes, we have a graduation on May 8th of 2022 at 10.30 a.m. service. And yes, uh, depending on the situ pandemic situation, we would welcome all our students to be part of the graduation service in person or online. We will be sending you an invitation email to everyone. Uh, yeah, the next question is from Taisha. I would like to, if there's a portal available for us to all have our courses and grades. Yes, our IT team is working. We'll get it across to you sooner. Is there any arrangements for internship? A question from Kennedy. Uh, is there any arrangements for internship? Pastor, would you like to answer this, please? Um, what we, uh, Kenny, that's, that's a good question. Uh, what we have done in the past is uh, students who studied with us, I mean, uh, you know, we, we didn't have online classes until uh, 2020, yeah. <laughs> uh, so before, before 2020, it was all in person. So all our students would study with us. And uh, so we had students who were serving with us while they were studying. Uh, they would be serving in our churches and uh, all the ministries, you know, students would be a part of it. So that was actually part of the whole training that was happening uh, before everything went online. Uh, so that was there. And then uh, a, a lot of the students would work with us in the ministry here in Bangalore. So, um, uh, so that was what was happening. And it was a good training for many of them. And some of them would stay with us and continue working here in Bangalore and some of them would go back to their own uh, places uh, and start their ministry, start churches uh, and things like that. So that was what was happening. Uh, uh, but now with this whole online uh, uh, you know, thing happening, uh, what we do recommend is that um, uh, students to uh, try and serve in their own local churches, wherever they are, um, so that um, they can, uh, you know, uh, gain that practical learning with their own churches, where they can, uh, uh, where they are. Um, whether, you know, we could try and do something long distance, I'm not, Sure, uh, but uh, you know when things are conducive, definitely our campus will open up, and uh, students are welcome to come and uh, study on campus or serve with us here. Um, you know uh, that would be when things open up and things are conducive. Otherwise, I think uh, the only thing we can suggest at this time is for students to serve with their local churches and ministries uh, try to practice you know the things you're learning over there and uh, then let's see you know uh, when things are conducive what arrangements can be made uh, what's your follow-up question charles Charles, you have raised your hand for. Would you like to have a follow-up question? Uh, 
on internship. Okay, oh, Chance, let's go on. It's not we can go here. on to the other one that they I think. Max and Sheikh here. Uh, I noticed that. Uh, uh, Pastor before did that, not there's an Okay, there's one more question before that. Okay, Maxin, you can drop an email to admin at uh, apcbabelcollege.org. We can uh, get your assignment corrected and send across the marks to you. Uh, Taisha, I'm currently second year. When will when will my graduation be? So, if you would like to graduate with your fourth semester. Uh, yes, your graduation will be on May 8th of this year, 2022. You can let us know uh, through email at admin, admin's ID. Like uh, if you would like to graduate with your fourth semester that is completing your diploma in theology, or if you would like to continue your third year, then you are free to do so. But you can let us know by dropping an email to admin's email ID. Uh, we have a question from Isaac. Do you have to display the courses of the classroom like last semester? I found all the courses we did for the first year have been archived. We'll post all the subjects on the classroom so it can be easy to follow our classwork. Pastor, you would like to answer this? I'm trying to understand the question. Um, okay, Maxon, uh, uh, I'm not sure why I missed marking your assignment, uh, so I apologize for that. Um, uh, I will look into it. This was, this was actually your first year. I mean, if it's if it was submitted on time, it should have been marked, but we will definitely look into it. Uh, Isaac's question, I'm trying to understand that. Did for the first year have been archived? Yeah, can I, can I see it? Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, welcome, all of us. Um, I, I don't know wh whether it was you, but I think all the courses, the eight courses we did for the f fall semester, first year, was automatically on the classroom, individually, so that if you want to go to prison and worship you, on, in classroom, you just click on prison and worship, then... You can see the classwork and so on and so forth. So that is what I'm asking. But now all is archive. I know we finish uh, the, the fall semester. Now for the spring semester, is it going to be like that? Because it was easier for us when all the courses were displayed on the classroom. Yes. So you can, yeah. Yeah. You can so follow I, individual courses. Thank yeah, you. So, yeah, Isaac, so what needs to be done is um, so for the spring semester, we have eight courses. Uh, you have to do the same thing that you did for fall. That means, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, you would have received the email uh, with the class codes, the Google Classroom class codes for the eight uh, spring semester courses. So what you do is just once you have to join the class. So, you know, you log into your um, uh, Google account, go to classroom.google.com. On the right side, you could, you'll see that add classroom and you click on that and then you enter the class code for these and you do it eight times, you join the eight classes. So then what happens from then on, all these eight classrooms will appear on your home uh, classroom homepage. So you will see them all. Just like how it was, but you have to join the classrooms. Okay, well. okay. okay, okay, Pastor. Thank you very much. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Mr. Isaac. And yes, we have uh, Avdesh Kumar ask a question. How can I write my first semester exam, which I missed at that time? Yes, brother, you are uh, you are welcome to write it again next fall 2022, uh, either through e-learning portal. If you're continuing to study on online the next semester, the third semester you would be in, then simultaneously you can, you know, uh, with, if you have an extra time, you can log into the same courses on e-learning portal and give in your exam there. I hope that answered your question, Brother Avdesh. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have? I'm just checking for the. Okay, we have a question from Paul. I'm doing certificate course. Last year, I only received codes for only four subjects, which I did. I'm now hearing from pastor that there were eight courses. What happens to me? Uh, yes. Uh, pastor, you would like to answer it? Yeah. Um... So Paul, uh, sorry that uh, you missed out on the other four. So every semester, there are eight subjects for each year. Now, what you can do, you don't have to worry, what you can do, um, uh, so the four subjects that you missed in fall, uh, you can do it this year in fall, that is between August and December. Uh, you can continue on with your second year uh, oh, sorry. If you only want to do a one-year certificate, you can repeat, you can do those four courses in fall this year, either in online, or you can do it on the e-learning. And as soon as you finish those four, you know, we can give you your uh, one-year certificate in theology. Right. So uh, I'm sorry that you missed out on those four subjects last fall. Uh, make sure you do all the eight for this semester. And then in the coming fall, you can finish those four, uh, either online or you can do it in the e-learning. Either way is fine. Is that okay? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Paul. We have a question, follow-up question from Charles that, um, suggesting that if we could receive an internship guide from Bible College and after the internship we could submit if you could develop the guide and release it to us and students follow it in the time of internship and submit report for the final graduation or after the graduation just a suggestion um, yes pastor you would like to answer this question please um. I mean, it's a good idea, Charles. Thanks for sharing that. Um, but I, but here's, here's my thoughts on it. Uh, one is um, not all students, you know, we're not students around the world, uh, not all of them may have the opportunity uh, for an internship uh, right where they are. You know, um, uh, some may have, you know, they're part of a local church and, uh, the church may be big enough uh, to accommodate interns, whereas some may belong to, you know, small communities, small churches where um, they may not be able to have some sort of a formal internship. And so for us to kind of make this like a requirement to graduate from all students would be uh, difficult because some may have the opportunity, some may not have the opportunity. And we don't want this to become a criteria uh, for graduation. Uh, but I appreciate the idea. Uh, what we are doing right now is leaving it rather informal uh, and, and, and letting students, based on the opportunity they have, uh, you know, wherever they are from, uh, to serve in the local churches or with ministries uh, where they can, uh, you know, serve. Um, some may not have the opportunity, and so we cannot compel them uh, and we cannot, uh, we don't want to make that a uh, requirement for graduation. Is that okay, Charles? All right, maybe Charles. Yes, might... yes, he has responded okay. over the chat. It's okay, Pastor. Okay. He has responded. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Pastor. And we have uh, the next question, Abraham. Yes, we can add the new courses on the Google Classroom using our Google codes that has been sent. Uh, the next question from Kennedy is, do you have an option for pursuing a master's degree for those who are interested in specialization? Um, um, yes, as of now, we have not yet started with our master's degree, but in future, we are looking out. When we start, you can join and continue your courses. Uh, Pastor, you would like to add on to that? Uh, yeah, uh, like Dana said, we don't have master's uh, degree at the moment. Uh, let's see, I mean, in the future, if we do start, we will inform everybody. Right? Yeah. 
they can join back after our BTH. You can join back for our master's courses with us once we start. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Divya raised for a long time. Divya, yes, please unmute and ask your question. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Dana. Uh, uh, good to be back uh, and a very happy new year to everyone. Uh, my question is regarding uh, I have actually done. The first year, uh, like the second sem I have done in the beginning, and the first sem I did later on. So I did two, uh, the, both the semesters uh, the opposite way. So now, um, so should I, uh, should I be waiting for the second semesters, uh, I mean, second year's first semester till the fall? Or is there an option for me where I can do the first sem courses of the second year that's my one question uh the second is uh for my first year uh actually the uh, even as max and brother maxon was saying uh, for me also the cross covenants and the blood uh that has uh, not been marked uh but i have turned in turned in at the right time so um so is that a, is there any way that um, it can be done and also should i be waiting for the certificate of the first year yeah these are my questions thank you uh, okay i'll just, uh, respond to that uh, so divya you can continue with your second year classes um that is uh, so you'll be doing spring semester uh, with your second year so you could just continue uh, uh, with your second year classes are, of course you're doing it kind of uh spring first and fall um yeah so how you did it yeah you did it uh spring and fall so you can continue like that it's just that you'll finish in a different sequence but that's okay uh you can continue with the second year courses so the covenants cross and blood uh, blood course uh, i need to go back and look at it it's, so that was in the um fall of 20 21 21 okay I, it I, was, need to see. I think it was in the i did it in the spring of 2021 it was oh, spring of 2020 okay yeah, yeah so let me see now i think they may be archived but we can pull it back and uh mark that whatever's not been marked uh i may have overlooked that so that's my fault i will just go back and check it and you know you will get your obviously when i return it you'll get your grades so we'll take care of that. Um, CCB spring 2020, 21. Um, yeah, so um, now if you want your certificate for the first year, we can send it to you. Uh, but if you're planning to continue, uh, then you know, uh, so students who are planning to work towards like a two year degree or a three-year degree um, you know uh, we don't normally send them the certificate but if you want it uh, you can drop an email to diana and she will send you the cth which is the completion of the first year uh, but if you if you want you know your final degree whether it's your two-year degree or a three-year degree then you can just wait for that uh, that's entirely up to you you can let diana know and she can email it to you Okay, okay, Pastor. Thank you so much. Uh, so I was also uh, thinking whether I could do the fall semester courses of second year, like if I'm trying to do it in the right order. Uh, so will I be able to do it in the e-learning, the fall yeah. semester courses? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So uh, next, next semester, what you can do is uh, uh, you could... So let's say you're doing the, uh, right now you will be doing the second year courses, spring semester. Next semester, you could do fall courses for second year, and you could do the fall courses for the third year. So you could do eight courses online and the other eight you could do on e-learning if you want to do that. So then, you know, you'll, you'll kind of be in sync with the rest of the students, if you want to do that. That's fine. 
uh, so there's no way that I can do the uh, like right now if I'm trying to do the fall semester courses I won't be able to do it right even in eight yeah yeah so this semester it's only all, it'll be all all spring courses spring semester okay. Courses. okay 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 pastor thank you so much thank you pastor thank you Divya, for clarifying all your doubts and uh, yeah so Jeffina, we have a question from Jeffina. So Jeffina, uh, once you finish, oh sorry, I'll just answer that. Yeah. Yes, Pastor. Uh, uh, so once you finish your bachelor's in theology with us, uh, you can apply to SABC or you can apply to SIACS. These are two good uh, two institutions in Bangalore that offer master's level programs, SABC or SIACS, and both of them uh, know us uh, as a Bible college. Uh, the only thing is when you uh, apply for a master's program at SABC or at SIAX, uh, they will ask you to do certain uh, additional courses. For example, uh, at ABC Bible College, we don't teach Hebrew and we don't teach Greek, you know. So the courses that uh, which traditional seminaries teach uh, which we don't teach, uh, they will uh, require you to do those additional type of courses. So, um, uh, you know, so when you're when you're going into a master's program, there will be some of these filler courses uh, that you would uh, have to do, and then they will let you continue with their regular master's program and so on. And usually, when you apply there. Uh, we, you know, they have the usual uh, admission process and recommendation letters, which we will uh, give you when you apply. Okay, and they they know us, so you know we have a good relationship with them. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Jeffina, for asking Thank that you. question. Okay. Um, so yes, if there's no more questions, we can take a quick short break and be back by 10.05 for a time of worship and then a time of prayer. Okay, thank you so much. Let's take a 10 minutes break and be back by 10.05 for a time of worship and prayer. Thank you. God bless. See you all soon. Do you hear me?